Linda, 1000 mitzvahs. I had to tell this kooky story from the car since I had just posted a few days ago about doing car mitzvahs. So this morning after driving my daughter to school, I was on my way home kind of through a different neighborhood than I usually go, but not far from our house. And I see a gentleman running to catch the bus, the same bus my daughter usually catches, and he misses it. And so I pull over without even thinking, and I'm like, come on, I'll help you. Um, so I figure he'll jump in the car and we'll run and try to catch the bus. <laughs> I have never picked up a hitchhiker in my life. I, I didn't even really think about it. It's just something that didn't seem like a big deal. Um, but then I have this stranger sitting in my car and, you know, he seems as nervous as I sort of feel. But I'm just like, you know what? I, he lived close to me. I, he was running to catch a bus. I know he just missed it. I don't really think there was anything to be nervous about. Um, so anyway, I drove him. Here's the sad thing. Dropped him off with the bus behind us and the bus did not stop. He had mentioned in the car, though, that we were close enough for him to catch the express bus at the next stop, so I'm hoping that he made it. So I'll talk more another day about uh, an intention and uh, intending to do a mitzvah even when it doesn't work out. Anyway, I had to share that crazy story from this morning, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching this one minute mitzvah. I hope today's simple mitzvah idea inspires you to notice the opportunities you have each day to engage in more of your own acts of kindness. As you can probably tell, I am pretty excited about mitzvahs. I speak at events, I wrote a book, and now I'm posting these videos. And I'd love to hear about your own experiences with mitzvahs, so please comment down below. And share this video. Imagine a world where everyone realized how great it feels to practice acts of kindness. Wishing you a thousand mitzvahs.